Y'all see Diamond, right? She want my food, but guess what? She's not getting it. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see, today we're going to do a Raising King mukbang. And um, I got some questions to answer. But before we get to any further into this video, you already know, it's time to give you guys the verse of the day. I'm taking it from Psalms chapter 147, verse 3. That reads, He heals the heartbroken and binds their wounds. So what I take from that is that if you're going through something hard in life, don't forget who God is. Pray to him and he will help you just continue to have faith and he will be there yes i do know it's hard to have faith when you're going through something and it feels like it's not working 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 and you're just going to keep going through it and keep going through it but i am a witness to this stay prayed up stay prayed up don't let the evil in and just basically like ignore all the negativity and trust in him because he will save you he will rescue you he will heal your wounds okay but anyway let's get right into the video so yeah i went to the canes and i picked up the box combo i'm gonna do it fresh The first question is, what worries you most about the future? The unknown. Being that I'm wor worried about the unknown and kind of scared of the unknown, I start to feel like, well, live your life to the fullest, you know? You don't know what's going to happen at all. The next question is am I holding on to something I need to let go of I'll say yes and it also says if not now when will you let go of it I don't know when but I pray that God gives me strength to let go of it because it is very mentally draining. So mentally draining. But it's so mentally draining. But guess what? I'll get over it. I know I will. The next question is this is really personal questions okay so the next question is what have i given up on no i won't i'm gonna say that um i did give up on it past tense i am better now Like three years ago, I gave up on life. That's why I said that I am a witness. That's why I said that I'm a witness of God coming and helping you. Because I was that person. Um. Would always bring tears to my eyes. The past. My past. 
always brings tears to my eyes. Like, so many things affected me, and I won't lie to you, it still affects, it still affects me. That's why. It still affects me. That's why I said that there's things that I do need to let go of, but there's something that's still affecting you. I need to find a way to put that energy and turn it positive and put it into something else. Because it's a waste of energy. Alright? The next question is, what can you learn from your biggest mistakes? Excuse me. What can I learn from my biggest mistakes is when I'm mad or upset, mad, upset, traumatized, whatever it is, do not act on those emotions at that moment. Because those emotions those feelings may not help you. Okay? So, female or male, don't act on your emotions when you're mad, angry, sad, whatever it is. Wait until you cool down to really have a clear mind. Like what do what do I want most in my life? The things that I want most in my life. I wanna be successful. I wanna find my niche, you know, like my purpose. I wanna I wanna I want ownership. Um, like, I want to make my own family, of course. Um, I want to continue to be happy. I want to continue to be peaceful. I want to, uh, oh, excuse me. I want to just continue to be thankful for the things that God has put before me and the things that he's changed for me, you know? That just about wraps up this video if you have not go ahead and like and subscribe also follow my social media it's going to be popping up up right here and right here other than that see you next time peace